We are so excited to see this film. I'm excited to see it with the crowd, actually. Absolutely. Yeah. It's yeah. been a while, hasn't it? Yeah, it has been a while to see anything with the crowd, actually. Right. And so this film, obviously aging rapidly, is a yeah. theme. Has it made you kind of step back and think about aging in your own life? Yeah, because it had never occurred to me before. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, actually, in the opposite way, I... have I decided a while ago that I actually, I mean, like a friend of mine said, I aged well and then I kept aging. So you don't want to get cocky about it. But I actually liked, because I was a bit of a screw up when I was young, or rather it took me a while to kind of land in myself. I actually quite like being 53, you know. Um, I'm not sure if I'll keep on liking it. <laughs> But um, it's not something that I'm particularly paranoid about as long as it works okay and as long as I keep working and stuff like that. But one of the things about this job was, for whatever complaints I do have about what bits are drooping, etc., I would sit in makeup for six hours and they would age me up by 25 years. And at the end of the day, I'd get used to that. At the end of the day, I got to pull it off. There you go. And I'd pull it off. Often I'd swim into the sea and pull it off. And my face would, for, for about two hours, look so young, <laughs> comparatively. And then I wake up the next morning and go, uh, okay, maybe, you know. Definitely. But I'd have a daily reprieve, which I was just saying lasted about two days after I'd finished the job, and that was it. <laughs> and Gratitude gone. Gratitude is there, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> and what was it like working with, you know, the legendary M. Night Shyamalan? It was amazing. It was amazing. It's not quite like anything I've ever done before. He's... He's, um, you know, he says that there's two types of directors. There are gatherers, who are people who kind of see what happens on set, they use a bit of, and there are hunters. And the hunters will set out for a particular thing, and that's all they're gonna get. They ignore other creatures that go past, because they're there for an elk, <laughs> right? So he has it all planned in a way that's very different from something, you know. But there's a freedom within that structure. Um, so it was really different to anything I'd ever done before, just in terms of the composition of the shots and the way he'd been working on the, those things for months before you even got there. And then you see the film and you understand what he sees that you weren't seeing at the time. So it was really interesting. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. We're so looking forward to seeing thank it. You. Nice thank you. Nice talking to you. Bye. Bye. Really excited. Really nervous. Really excited. Yeah. Knight did such an amazing job on this movie. Okay. Yes, this is how it's supposed Hi. to be. We're supposed to close out the carpet together. <laughs> yeah, I've seen her very recently. I know. Yeah, we, we, we all nice. hung. Okay. We all went out and got super drunk. It was great. Nice. No, so after this, you guys all remain very close. Yes. And... Yeah, totally. Yeah, night and I talk all the time. I interviewed him at Tribeca. That's how we all saw each other. I interviewed him for like a retrospective of his work. Um, and that was so fun. So cool. So fun. And what are some things that you've learned just by working with and like, I mean, everything. I think I think he's really taught me how to um, go with a process. I think, you know, um, I have a lot of energy and a lot of intensity and, um, you know, I'm a very raw actor and I think he's found a way to put my rawness in precision. You know, he's like, okay, hit this mark and don't move, but feel everything you're feeling. And it brings out some really unique, I think, great stuff. And, and someone like me who maybe uh, would rather everyone reads a poem to me before a take or, you know, everything is just loose and improvised. It was, it was a real great lesson and I just had a fantastic time doing it. It just felt like we were just, uh, I think he and I really just bonded. We just had a great, great relationship for work. How was working on this different than anything else that you've worked on? Oh, I mean, first of all, it was in the middle of the lockdown in the pandemic, so that was very different. Uh, we were not trapped on the beach, but trapped in a hotel. We couldn't go anywhere. We were just like seeing all these beautiful people and this beautiful landscape, and we couldn't go, you know? It was really kind of like horrible in a way. And, and then... You know, because of the pandemic, I think the, the making of the movie was more difficult because it had to happen like this. And no, nothing coming, you know, so we had less time. So the working hours were really long and we were really a lot of the time outside on the beach. It was very hot and one day it was so hot I couldn't find my lines. No, I forgot my text because it was just too hot and my brain was literally cooking and slowing down so working on that beach was really not easy. Yeah, it was a challenge for sure. Yeah. And um, what about some of the themes in, in this film are we going to see? So to me the most important theme of the movie is saying 
stop running you know where are you running to guys you know like just stop and enjoy the moment you have because there is nothing else you can do a facial you can do a workout you can eat vitamins but you will not change and all you have is this it's like you know it's like a video game you get like one run and it's like one game and that's it and and but enjoy because that's all you get so this is what i really like about to move in my eyes you know is what is telling the people mm -hmm. and what was it like working with m night Shyamalan? So, to me it was really interesting because i am european and i have a, we have a different way of working i think and especially his movies are so visual so everything kind of tries to follow the visual and i'm more like usually doing movies where everything follows the plot or the psychology or whatever um so that was not easy but I enjoyed it because to me whatever comes my way I try and see it as a chance to grow not as an obstacle that stops me so I did and I tried to fit my crazy self inside of his structure and still act the way I usually do and you know so yeah when you watch it? Like, a little bit, yeah. I mean, obviously everything is different from a page to an actual film. <laughs> so, I mean, I think you're going to be quite scared. Yeah, and was yeah. it scary at all, like, knowing that you were filming a horror movie while you were filming? No. I think, I think whenever I'm playing a character, I always get, like, evoked in it. Like, I always, like, try, I always become the character, kind of, when I'm, like, filming. So it's always, like, I don't really know exactly. I always forget a little bit. So I think it was, it wasn't as scary because I was, like, you're in it. I'm in it, yeah. Right. And how did you even get your start in acting to now being in an M. Night Shyamalan movie? My mother. So she was an actress. She is an actress. And so when I was three, she was like, oh my god, you look like an actor. You seem like an actress. You have like that really outgoing vibe. And so she brought me started on the train, like a little bit of And now I've worked on a TV show last year. I was really starring in an ABC show. And now I'm in an M. Night movie. And I'm also in a new TV show that is going to come out eventually. I can't share many details about it, but it is new filming in New York. But it's really exciting. It is filming in New York. It'll be great. That's so exciting. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Can't wait to see the film. I cannot wait either. Thank you. I'm really excited. You know, this is a really special moment for me and all of us. Um, you know, we were out there together as a unit and we gave our best to this, gave our best to this story. And um, we're really proud that it's being released and proud to be part of it. And what was it about the script that really attracted you to it? For me, it was the really interesting questions that it asks in regards to time, perspective, and values. Um, those are some things that really interest me as a human being, as Aaron, separate to the actor. So to get to tell a story about these things was a really special opportunity. And what was it like working with the legendary M. Night Shyamalan? There, there are no words to describe how amazing it was. You know, M. Night is a masterful storyteller. You know, he's a man with an encyclopedic knowledge about storytelling and thrillers. And, you know, to work with him on this was a huge learning experience. Um, and I'm very grateful for it. I'm really excited. I've never been to a premiere before. And I've also never been in New York before. Oh my goodness, where are you from? Uh, LA. LA, so this is your first time in New York? Yeah. Are you planning to go sightseeing or anything? Yeah, we're going, we're sightseeing tomorrow and the day after tomorrow. That's awesome. So what was it like shooting this movie? Was it like a big vacation? Or was it hard work? It was kind of, it was both. And some people might think it was scary for me, so I'm helping make it, but it wasn't. It's only scary when I watch the preview. And you haven't seen the movie yet, right? No, only the preview. So are you a little nervous to see it? No, not really. Not really? And what was no. it like working with the cast? It was fun. Sometimes they give you some advice and you make friends with them too. I'm so excited. This is my first premiere, so. Your first premiere yep. ever? That's so awesome. Are you nervous at all to see this movie? Uh, no. No? Not really? Are you into scary I mean, I'm movies? Excited. Yes, I'm really into scary movies. So cool. What was it like filming on like a beautiful, beautiful beach on a beautiful island? Oh, it was great. I like almost couldn't resist like going into the water for a minute because it was like so pretty, the whole thing. Like I'm pretty sure like I swam around for a minute after some scenes. <laughs> Did it feel like a lot of work? 
or was it kind of like a vacation too? It was kind of like a vacation, like everyone was getting through. It was really, everyone was nice, it was great. The scenes we got finished with them quick. It was really like a vacation, but working at the same time. So come on, what is it like working with the legendary Oh, he's great. He knows exactly what to say to like, in your brain, get you into the scene and into the mood. Like the exact words, and that really helped a lot. That's so awesome. Look. Can you tell us a little bit about your character? Uh, her name is Kara, and she is a six-year-old who I play the twelve-year-old version of. And her mother is like very confident and so it's a small cast. Always like confident around her, but when she sees her mom freaked out, looking at her and freaked out about everything, and almost crushes her little dream world, and it just crushes all the dreams, and makes it very scary. What does it feel like to be here at this premiere? I am so excited and also thrilled to be here. Um, it is, I'm very lucky to have this opportunity. Absolutely. And were you ever scared at all when you were filming this? Because it is a scary movie. Yes. I was nervous. Well, if I had watched the movie, and it was also very I don't fun. Know, I feel like I might have some tips. And, and are you excited to see the movie? <laughs> yes, I am I'm very excited. Out. I, yeah. Mm -hmm. And what was it like filming on a beautiful tropical beach? Well, it was beautiful. I loved it. It was very cool and exciting. Can you tell us a little bit about your character? Yeah. Um, I play Greg Mitchell. I am a detective on vacation, and his vacation keeps getting interrupted. Yeah. I bet. And filming this, did it feel like a vacation or did it feel like... A oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, we stayed at a couple different locations. One of them was I had my own private bungalow, so <laughs> no complaints. No complaints whatsoever. Very nice. And what are some of the themes of this movie? Obviously, it's called Everything Revolves mm -hmm. Around Aging, but mm -hmm. what are some themes that you can share? Yeah, um, some themes. Um, what is it like to have your life taken away from you? Because some of these people enter the beach very young and they leave a very much different person over the course of a day. So they miss out on a whole portion of life that they do not get to live. Um, there's also um, a lot to deal with about commitment, who and what things you decide to commit to, and, um, and beauty. And, and like if you just watch the trailer, it's absolutely stunning, but it's also absolutely disturbing. So there's this weird combination of um, beauty and, and, and uh, ugliness. It's, it's fascinating. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to share it with everyone tonight. It's going to be very exciting to see it up on a big screen. I mean, none of us have really seen that many films in the cinema recently. So, yes, thank you. And can you tell us a little bit about your character? Uh, sure, I play Patricia. She is uh, married to Darren, who's played by Ken Lung. And she thinks she's going on the holiday of her dreams, and it turns out to be a living nightmare. And what was it like filming this and you know, turning such a beautiful place into a horror? It was really extraordinary. It was such an adventure. We were in the middle of the pandemic, so it was still like it felt very brave and exciting to be making a film at that time. We had an amazing international cast and we were in paradise, but we were also pushed to our extremes. So for a lot of us, it was one of those experiences that you will never, ever forget. And what do you think are some elements that make it great for I think Knight has a particular way of literally making the hair stand up on your arms. And for me, that's what a horror movie should do. It's like a visceral experience. You're no longer thinking, you are just taken on this wild ride. And Mike does that so well. Oh, it's going great. I'm just so excited to be here and finally be able to watch this movie. I'm so excited. You know, we filmed almost a year ago and I've just been wanting to watch it as soon as, you know, we got home from filming. And how excited were you watching the trailers? Is that getting you pumped? I got so pumped. I was so excited. You know, uh, my family actually, my mom was, I was at school and she was like, the first trailer just came out. You got to see this. And as soon as I got home, I watched it and my family and I sent it to my friends. And I, my community at home has been so supportive of me doing this. And everyone who is 
you know, filming with me was also so supportive of everyone else. It was just such a great experience for me. That's so exciting. And what is, um, can you tell us a little bit about your character? Yeah, so, you know, he starts off as a six-year-old, you know, so incredibly innocent and, you know, uh, naive. And then he's put into this horribly traumatic situation where him and everyone else on the beach, including all of his family, you know, they're all aging at a rapid rate and they cannot get off. And so it's like this fear of being trapped and not knowing how to get out while everyone around you ages and dies. And it's just one, you know, scary thing after another. And even if he gets off, he'll, he'll never be able to never, never be able to recover because it's just so scary. what I've gathered and having, you know, been a part of the film. I think it, it it definitely speaks to the, you know, ephemeral nature of time and, and, and growing up and like how quickly things move and, you know, how, how scary that is. Um, and, you know, it's sort of things pass us by, you know, before we know it. And it's a, I think an important thing to investigate. And yeah. what was it working? What was it like working with a legendary Andy It was so cool. It was so cool. And he was such a lovely guy, so nice and welcoming. And like, it, I was put at ease immediately. And like, it was just, it was a blast. And what's one of your favorite Andy Sheffield movies? Wow. Um, there, are, there are a bunch. Uh, but Maybe you can, you know, yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> I. Let's see. I mean, I think probably The Sixth Sense it had the biggest impact on me, um, you know, but uh, like, I, I love The Village. I, thought, I think that's so beautiful and, and you know, kind of haunting. Um, so yeah, I, but I'm, I'm a big fan. <laughs> um, so what was the process like from, you know, on the cutting floor, the beginning, writing, to finally getting it here to the theater? Yeah, I mean, you know, it's always a kind of a long, um, laborious process, and it's very much different phases, you know, whether when Knight's writing the script and we're talking about it at that, you know, stage of the process, shooting the movie, which was obviously very tricky. Uh, this year because we shot during the pandemic and you know luckily we were able to do it um, purposefully and safely and then of course as you said you know editing post and that's its own process where you're really trying to find the movie and connect it with what you know night's vision was so um, it was really great you know and as always a rewarding process for us so. And I heard there were some difficulties with filming, with the elements, you know, yeah. Like? yeah, I mean, on top of, you know, dealing with COVID and keeping everyone safe, which luckily we were able to do, um, there were weather elements. We shot in the Dominican, which it was amazing to shoot down there, and they couldn't have been more welcoming, but there were some hurricanes, and um, one, one in particular, actually, that took away some of our rock wall. When you see the movie, um, we kind of built a portion of the rock wall. Um, so it set us back a couple of weeks, but again, we were lucky and we were able to shoot with no problems during production. So. Awesome. Well, we're so excited to see this film. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I think the main theme is uh, uh, what we fear most is which is aging and not being able to stop it and um, uh, how it pops up in your face on a day-to-day -day basis. And in, in this case, on a very rapid basis. So yeah, I, I would say that would be the theme. That, and as I also explained, I have I don't know the ending of the film. So I'm gonna be as surprised as everyone else. Oh, that's extra exciting. And can you tell us a little bit about your character? Oh, well, my character, Mr. Brody, he arrives at a very nice resort. And um, we, uh, I don't want to spoil it. Okay, is that a nice resort? <laughs> it was a very nice, lovely resort. Yes, so I think everyone's going to be very pleased. Very nice. And um, is there one moment kind of from filming that you remember that was like a very memorable moment that um, you could share? Well, my favorite, my, I think my favorite moment was when I arrived on set and found out that my character had an illness, which I didn't know. And M. Night Shyamalan says, you know, that Mr. Brody has 
I was like, no, I did it. And he goes, well, he does. So, so we'll see how that plays out. That's so interesting. Well, we can't wait to watch. Congratulations. Thank you. So Thank, much. You. Thank you.